Hi, I'm Peter Alexander, author of the Professional Orchestration Series. I've been asked by Miroslav Vitos to create a series of brief tutorials to explain String Ensembles 2.0. This first video is an overview. This is independence that you can upgrade to from Engine. Most of the developers do the work first in independence and then bring it into Engine. If you decide to upgrade, you have quite a few resources for customizing SC 2.0. At this video production date in July 2012, Engine and Independence are not yet 64-bit native. So if you're using Vienna Ensemble Pro, SC 2.0 works great in it. A word about the library sound. Per Miroslav, this is a photograph of the CNSO Recording Studio in Prague, where SC 2.0 was recorded. CNSO is frequently used for film and game scores. Some composers who've recorded there include Michael Kamen, Ennio Morricone, and Lalo Chevrine. The studio has a darker, more woody sound, which is reflected in the character of SE 2.0. Now, the quick way to load your programs into either Engine or Independence is through the browser. Pick what you want and double click. However, as you can see, it's difficult reading. So for training purposes, I'll be showing you the method with more steps, but only because it's easier to read. There are two places to insert programs. The first is layers, which is engine language for programs or patches. The second are projects. Think of projects like loading a bank or setting up a combination. To get to projects, you click the down arrow and begin moving your mouse to the right. As you can see, you're getting an extra four menus of mini ensembles. Let me just say you get a ton of practical, useful material in SC 2.0. Our focus for the rest of the video is on layers. Your setup may not be exactly like mine. I've installed the most current update, 2.0.1, which you can get once you have installed and registered 2.0. To get to this menu, just click Layers, and as you move your mouse to the right, you'll see a series of sliding menus appear. Look to the far right and you'll see six menus, one each for violins, violas, cellos, basses, then two special sets of layers, unison and octave combinations. I've zoomed in. As you continue moving the mouse to the right, another menu appears. Before we go further, the letters VS mean violins. You have five choices. The first choice is full sections, which means 24 unison violins, plus violins one and violins two. All three types are in this one bank. Please note that violins one and two are independently recorded with different players. Continuing, Mod Wheel Velocity Zones means you're using both keyboard performance with the Mod Wheel. The third group may look awkwardly worded, but it means that these programs use the Mod Wheel to switch back and forth between Boeings. Pads are sustained layers, then five of the round robins. Note that all the string sections follow a similar organization. As I continue moving the mouse to the right, I get this main menu listing all the Boeings available for the violins. Let's look at the eye flow. Number one is full sections, first and second violins, which you saw in the previous screen. As the mouse moves, you now see number two, which is the menu containing all the Boeing options available for that group of violins. At three is the next menu, and these are the individual programs you'll pick from. Here you learn that Miroslav's organization is by Boeing types. You pick the Boeing first, then you select whether it's first violin, second violins, or the full section. Once picked, it's then inserted into the track. Look where it says Sustain Blend. This is actually a second sounding library sitting inside the main one. What this means is that 2.0 is the only orchestral library containing two different library sounds. It's a very unusual choice, 
but you do get a lot of options for creating ensembles within SE 2.0 and for creating ensembles by blending with other libraries. Now we get to sustains with first chairs. Using a familiar terminology, these are solo instruments that use the mod wheel to bring them in with the full ensemble, and it's a very subtle effect. As you explore the programs available for each section, it's important to remember that everything labeled with the number one are velocity sensitive. Miroslav Vito String Ensembles 2.0 is the most velocity sensitive library on the market. It's also the biggest concentration of programs within the library. In the next video, you'll learn more about the string programs you have to work with. I'll see you then.